as you're developing your personal style and building out your wardrobe, there are a couple things that are really helpful to understand in order to get your dream style. So starting with today's video, I want to do a little mini series called Style Basics, and we're going to break down some of these essentials. These are things that work behind the scenes, and as soon as you understand them, you can use them to get your perfect closet. So with today's video, we're going to go over contrast. I want to talk about what contrast is, how you can figure out your own contrast levels, and then how this information is helpful for your wardrobe. So let's get started. Let's start off with what contrast is. So by its very definition, contrast is the state of being strikingly different from something else. Now when it relates to your wardrobe, this is going to refer to light and dark. And specifically as it's going to relate to you and your personal coloring, it's going to refer to the difference between your hair color and your skin color and your eye color. And this is typically broken into three basic categories. We have low contrast, medium contrast, and then high contrast. I am high contrast. Now figuring out your own contrast level is actually really easy and you can definitely get really in detail here, have a lot of different steps and a lot of different elements, but I recommend going to an expert or professional for that because they can do it faster and a lot more objectively. But for you and your personal style, this top line understanding is typically more than enough and in my experience is definitely enough for wardrobe satisfaction. So all you have to do is take a selfie. Do this in natural daylight so you get an accurate representation and then with minimal detail behind you so that nothing is too distracting. And then once you have that photo, turn it black and white. Turning it black and white is gonna give you the grayscale of your image. And you can then compare that to the overall grayscale of extreme light and extreme dark in order to see where you fall on that scale. So if you're looking at your photo and you're seeing very little difference between your hair, your eyes, and your skin, and everything is really light in color, you're probably low contrast. If everything is kind of in the middle, there aren't any extremes and everything kind of in that middle range. You're probably medium contrast. And then if you are either seeing a lot of dark or extremes, so maybe a lot of light and a lot of dark, then you're likely high contrast. Now, if you're having a hard time being objective or maybe you're not quite sure if you're low, medium, or high, I'm gonna put some images in the description box that you can compare your image to. And putting your photo next to someone else's can kind of put you in the right direction. And then you can see if your highs and lows are like their highs and lows so that you can classify yourself as low, medium, or high. So then why is this information helpful for a personal style? So knowing your contrast level and if you're low, medium, or high can help you choose colors that are equally low, medium, or high. And then also combinations, so color combinations that are low contrast, medium contrast, or high contrast. And in my experience, getting the contrast level right is almost better than getting your undertone. And I personally have a lot of flexibility. I can do warm, cool, or neutral colors as long as the contrast contrast level is fine. So it can be a really good place to start. And then also you can use this information to contrast your own contrast level. So a lot of the information that we see about personal style and color palette development is centered around enhancement or emphasizing or harmonizing. And I think there's just as much validity in contrasting what you naturally have. So if you are low contrast, but you wear high contrast combinations or high contrast deep colors, that can be a great way to play with your own coloring and develop a color palette because now you almost push yourself forward you become even more low contrast. And I think that's such a fun way to experiment with personal style. So definitely use this the way that is best gonna serve you. I think that's what makes personal style so enjoyable. And I would love to know in the comments down below if this is something that you use and if you find it helpful. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.